Have you ever started a print, walked away, and 20 minutes later you realize you selected the wrong file? I know I have. I'll show you a trick that will display the file name on the LCD so you can check it before you walk away, and it'll tell you what layer number it's on. I'll show you that trick in Cura on today's Filament Friday. This video is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. I'm using Cura 4.0 to show this, but it should work in just about any version of Cura. For this experiment, I'm just gonna use my CHEP calibration cube, printed at 0.2 layer height using my Magic 0.2 profile. Now, if you go up to Extensions, Post Processing, Modify G-Code, you'll see there's a script for display file name and layer on LCD. Select that and then leave the box blank and it'll take care of the rest. Now I'll just slice the file. It's a pretty quick print. It estimates about 27 minutes to print. I'm going to change the name from ChepCube to ChepCube colon. I'll explain why in a minute. And then I'm going to save that file and then we'll open it on the SD card and print it on the Ender 3. And look at there's the file name, ChepCube colon. So I know I got the right one, but layer, no colon, no number. There's the problem. So what I did is I went back to the file, this time re-sliced it called Chep Cube, not Chep Cube colon, and I opened it up. And you can see here's the line, it says M117, Chep Cube, layer colon, space zero. Apparently that colon is not recognized by the Ender 3 firmware. So what I wanna do is change this. This colon has got to go. So I'm gonna use the edit, find and replace, and then I'm gonna type layer colon space. That way I'm only going to get those lines where this M117 is. I'm going to replace it with layer, no space, so the number comes right after it. I'll replace all, and now you can see it's going to print the layer number right after layer. Now let's see if this works. So I'm going to save the file, load this into the ender, the ChepCube file now, and once the heating's done, there's the file, ChepCube and layer zero. So it's working. The colon was the problem on the Ender 3. So once I replace that, now the layer lines show up, but you have to recognize it starts at zero. If I go to the preview mode in Cura, there's a hundred layer lines on my chip cube, but it starts at layer one. But that showed layer zero in the G code. Why it does this, I don't know, but the top layer is not a hundred either in the G code, it's 99. So you have to recognize that it starts at zero and goes to 99. So here it is printing, it's at layer line 29, it just flipped to 30, and a little speed up here, you'll see it goes to 31. So it's working, it's telling me the layers. But when it gets to the very top, and let's just time lapse here to get to the end. Once it gets to the very top, you can see we're at layer 99, and the print finishes. So that's it, that's all I needed to do was modify the G-code just in a text editor. But now I have the file name and the layer line. I really like this feature so I know exactly which file I selected before I walk away. And also I like the fact that I know exactly which layer it's on rather than relying on that bar graph and what percentage it says.